What's up everybody, the poets here. Sorry, Meteor Lake water bottle. <laughs> uh, and what we're doing today is testing the Intel Core i9 14900K in a pretty basic PC, as you see here, nothing special. It's just custom water cooled by Liquid House. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful, what can I say? Um, they actually have done a full custom water cooling setup with this. So not only is it cooling the CPU, the Intel Core i9-14900K, but also the GPU, which in this case is a 4080, but also the VRMs on this motherboard. So this is a really nice motherboard by ROG. This whole PC case is by height. It's the height Y60. And you'll notice the, you know, the, the distribution plate and all that. It's just a beautiful piece of artwork, basically, that you can game on or video edit on or just have it on your desk and look pretty, and whatever. I don't know. But this is the new Intel Core i9-14, let's put it out, 600K, so the i5, the Intel Core i7, 14700K processor, and then here we have the Core i9 14900K. So yes, Intel did send all these to me, you know, hashtag Intel ambassador, shout out to Intel for sending all this out and dropping off this beautiful PC that I get to test. The reason why we're testing this is because specifically on the Core i9 14900K, you have that capability of overclocking using not only the BIOS, yes, but a new feature. This is the AI Assist. This is something that's built into the extreme tuning utility that you can download for free. And basically with one click, the AI Assist is then going to analyze the system, analyze the hardware combinations that you have and try to push that Core i9-14900K a little bit further. Now this PC is, you know, tricked out as you can tell. So because of its cooling capabilities, we should be able to squeeze out a little bit more juice out of this 14900K. Now the way that CPUs and typically GPUs work is when that piece of hardware is cooler, that means you can push it a little bit further. So that's kind of the enthusiast side of overclocking. You can of course still go into the BIOS and tweak it yourself. You can use the X the Windows Extreme Tuning Utility to manually do it yourself as well. But this AI Assist, it's something new and it's just going to get better over time. So let me show you how it works. Now, if this seems like it's going quick, it's because it is. So all you do is load up the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. You can click on Advanced View right here and you'll notice right away it comes up, XTU AI Assist. So just click on this, characterize, and then it's going to analyze your system with the 14900K, your RAM, the timings of the RAM, the motherboard that you're using, all that stuff to give you the best possible performance. So here it's doing the six system characterization. And of course it says, please do not open or run any additional applications. Eh, task manager, I think is fine, it's minuscule. Um, but I did make sure that there's really nothing important running in the background. So just make sure you have everything closed out, that your BIOS is actually on its complete default settings. And if you do have to change anything in the BIOS, when you load up the XTU utility, it'll actually tell you that, hey, this is wrong in your BIOS, you need to tweak it, and it's very easy to do that. So here, we actually show that we have our eight performance cores. Two of them are at six gigahertz initially, and it tweaked it so that now they're at 6.1 gigahertz. The other cores are actually 5.8 gigahertz, which is very interesting with this one. And then we have 4.4 gigahertz, which was the efficiency cores. It bumped that up to 4.5. So basically our two primary performance cores that were doing the best, it increased those speeds. And in this run, it actually decreased all the other cores to 5.8 gigahertz. That's very interesting. So depending on the type of application you're running, like some games where they're performance heavy with one or two cores, this could actually increase your performance a bit. For multi-core applications, I don't know, maybe this decreases it. This is something that we'd have to test. But the AI thinks that this is the best solution. Using the extreme tuning utility, of course you have your advanced tuning options. You can of course do stress testing and run some benchmarks as well. Let's go ahead and run a benchmark. So we got a score of 13,891. And if we revert that overclock, so you can just click on revert changes, it's as simple as one click, very easy. Uh, then let's go back and run this benchmark again and see how well it does. And the score is actually less without the overclocking, 13,345. 
So before we were at 13,891 with the AI assist overclock. Overclocking the 14th gen is honestly a lot of fun. Now, when it comes to the 14th gen versus the 13th gen, this is a refinement. This 14th gen is just a continuation of what the 13th gen has already done. So we're already squeezing out some of the best possible performance with this design architecture. Having this AI assist really helps to save a lot of time when it comes to finding out what settings in your overclocking will give you the most stability and best performance. So when you do use the AI assist overclock, you definitely want to run your stress tests, you know, run your average applications that you would use all the time, whatever games you typically want to play, and just make sure it is stable and run those benchmarks to see if your scores are actually improving a bit. Don't expect 50%, you know, overclock results or anything like that. This is something that with the 14th gen, like we said, it's already basically pushing the limits of this architecture. So I'm greatly looking forward to seeing what type of PC hardware combinations you all put together with the Intel Core i9-14900K. And then when you use that Intel AI Assist, this is going to be something where the AI just gets better over time. The more information it has on different combinations of PC hardware, whether it's different speeds of RAM, types of RAM, different motherboards, different cooling capabilities, this is just going to add to that database, add to that awareness of what can we do with the 14th gen CPUs, specifically the 14900K. So with that, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below and uh, I will definitely see you in the next one. And shout out to Liquid House for an incredibly beautiful PC using this 14900K processor. Oh, and shout out to Intel for sending all these processors out as well. So uh, I will see you in the next one. And don't forget right now until November 17th, it's the Intel 14th gen challenge. So you might see little codes here and there in videos of mine across different social media platforms. And uh, yeah, you'll have to put on your Sherlock Holmes hat to determine what that code actually means and then submit your answer to the Intel uh, Discord. So I'll have a link for that in the comments below as well. So good luck. And yeah, you might win a 14900K, 14700K, 14600K, or hundreds of other digital goodies. So yeah, stay tuned. And if you like this style of video, go ahead and hit that follow button and the like button and the share button. Click all the buttons. Peace.